Hey everyone, my name is Sathbik Alawalia, and I want to talk about something that's been happening in our community over the past year and a half. Um, to set the table stakes, AAPIs, Asian American Pacific Islanders, we're not a monolith. We come from uh, you know, dozens of countries, dozens of religions. Um, we're very unique in our breadth and our diversity. Some things that do tie us together is that a lot of us have a fear of government, a distrust for it. Um, we don't all speak English, so that language access can be very difficult. And over the past year and a half specifically during the pandemic, we've been in a really frightening environment um, with people who look like us being shot and attacked across the country. Um, and yet we showed up. Uh, during the 2020 census, even though the federal government said we'd be the worst at self-response, in Travis and Wellington County, we were number one, Asian Americans, AAPIs. Uh, when it came to voting in 2020, AAPIs in Travis and Wellington County came out in the highest numbers, had the highest percent change from 2016. So we came out for our country. But unfortunately, our country didn't come out for us. In the most recent redistricting, uh, our population has been absolutely cracked and packed away without, you know, our representation is almost non-existent. And when it comes to essential things like healthcare, not having that representation means we can't expand Medicaid. We can't get more dollars for public health and public safety, for education. And so we put our faith through our distrust of government into our government to serve us, to come out for us, but it didn't. And it's gonna have a direct impact on health equity and we deserve better.